Hey, K1300 GT, SE version, so heated seats, heated grips, cruise control, electronic suspension, traction control, so high spec bike. Um, you get an awful lot for your money with, with these now. Um, I've done a few tours on these, they're absolutely brilliant, I love them. Very economical, um, great engine, same as K1300S. Um, really easy to ride. You sit on the saddle all day. So this one's in decent condition. It's a 2010 bike, I think. So don't expect it to be perfect. But you see, the bolts aren't really disgusting. Um, so somebody is taking care of this. It was uh, owned by somebody who really did his own maintenance. I looked after it the way he wanted it to be looked after. A protective strip down there. Um, tiny little mark there. Um, so you can see it's been cared for, even the centre stand looks nice, usually very rusty, but this one's good. Centre stand, side stand, um, that looks really good, that looks much better than a lot of 2016 BMWs we see. So once again somebody's obviously taken care to keep that clean. A um, little bit of tarnishing on the on the rear wheel. Um, it could be refurbed if need be. But if you're looking for a very functional touring bike, then this one is good. Not long had rear tyre, not had long had both tyres. It's 2010. It's got the additional BMW top box, all well operated by the same same key, the ignition key. See that side of the wheel is is much cleaner. This also looks good. We will give it a proper clean. It's just come off the van. But uh, this was one of the ones that came off that we thought looked okay to do a little video off. A little bit of corrosion on the engine paint there. But um, I'd say that's certainly not unusual. Um, so all in all, this actually looks like a really nice, tidy, well looked after bike. A few little flies on it. So we'll give it a good polish. Uh, it's got the France Auto Route stickers, so it looks like it's been someone's touring bike. Um, there's nothing really around it of any sort of major notes, a little scratch on the headlight there. Looks like it's maybe been done in transit or something from a brake lever, something like that. But um, it's not an MOT failure or anything, it's not cracked. So I can't really see anything around it that shouts out. Um, oh, and it does have, I noticed, I'll get this open, can I, no. Yep. So it does have the tank block tank bag with it. <clears throat> nice giddy tank bag. Come with the bike. On the controls, we've got well, some watch first. It is 36.534. Like I say, it's been self maintained, so it's not a lot of stamped up service history. Um, screen works, you see it going up and down. Um, heated seats there, uh, heated grips there, passenger heated seats there. Start it up. Start the button. So those flashing lights go out once you start running. Then control, ESC, ESA, that's electric suspension control, normal sport comfort. Nice and comfort for the long journeys. Engine sounds brilliant. Smoother than um, the brand new S1000XR. You know those, you know they're quite rapidly, but all the S1000XR are just the way they are. But that is a really nice, clean, tidy bike. Um, not immaculate, but it's 10 years old, 36,000 miles, but I would say above average for one of these. And it's a high spec one. And that'll do some of these for many, 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 many more miles. Thank you. 
Not too late. There you go. 